uh, a shaft of length 0.75 meter supported freely at the ends is carrying a body of mass 90 kg at 0.25 meter from one of the look at the diagram as I read the question you just look at the diagram and listen to my words you don't have to look at the question a shaft of length 0.75 meter supported freely at the ends is carrying a body of mass 90 kg at 0.25 meter from one end this one end means it could be either from the left or the right it both are correct you can do it in any way you want find the natural frequency of the transverse vibration assume Young's model is 200 giga newton per meter square shaft diameter 50 millimeter okay that is your question and the diagram you can this diagram is not necessary to solve the problem diagram will not be given in the exam this you have to draw just by reading the question you can draw this okay so one important thing i want to tell you here if you have a word freely supported at the ends it means it is a simply supported configuration okay and if there is a word that the shaft sitting on a long bearing long bearing in the future problems you will see a word long bearings it means it is not a simply supported kit it is a rigidly fixed beam if you the question reads the shaft sits on a long bearing it means it is a fixed beam it cannot move or if it is freely supported it means it is a simply supported beam so the formulas are going to vary to find deflection so that is the key the word how the support is provided on the ends is the key way, key word to find out which formula you are going to use okay so list down the given data so length of the shaft is 0.75 meter uh, mass uh, acting in the shaft is uh, bending the shaft is 90 kg so a and b i am going to split and write the distances so small a uh, I am going to call this this distance as small a. This uh, from the left end to this is small a. Okay, and uh, from here to here is called small b. Why? Because you are having a, a and b in the formula where a is this length and b is this length. For uh, putting it in the formula, I am writing that. Okay, so n small uh, and the diameter of the shaft. Everything is written. Okay, let's move on. Uh, moment of inertia of the shaft. You are going to find out pi by 64 d power 4. Diameter is 0 0.05. So, moment of inertia, you substitute uh, 0.05 in place of the diameter power 4 and you find 0.307 in 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. Okay. Uh, simply supported beam with a point load, the deflection, uh, this formula which you have seen earlier. The given problem uh, condition is exactly similar to this condition. This is general condition. This is this diagram is not from this problem. This is from the formula PPT. Okay. Formulas for uh, formulas. This condition is having a formula of W A square B square by 3 into E into I into L. That is a deflection formula from strength of materials. Okay. So now what I am going to do, I am going to compare these two diagrams. They are exactly similar. So I am going to take down and write all these, what are all the alphabets in the formula, the values I am going to list down. Okay. So M is 90 kg. So find W from that 90 into 9.82 and 882 Newton. Okay. Then uh, A, uh, A, so look at the diagram, above diagram, first diagram, what is A? Here A is the distance from left to the point load uh, place, so that is 0.25, therefore A is 0.25, okay. So B is remaining distance, 0.5, okay. Uh, then uh, Young's modulus is 200 into 10 power 9, uh, length, uh, I mean moment of inertia is 0 0.307 and length is 0 0.75. When you are writing, you can easily differentiate L and I. In uh, computer, it looks very same. So, I is made, a, L is made a little bit italic, I is kept vertical, okay, so just to show you the difference. So, all these things you are going to pick up and put it into the above formula, right? So, what is W? W was calculated to be 90 kg, 90 into 9.81 is here, okay. So, A is 0 0.25, 0 0.25 square, B is 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 square, total is 0.75, total length, okay. So, 3 multiplied by e 200 into 10 power 9 this should be in power 200 into 10 power 9 okay it's in the power i i is 0.307 and 10 power minus 6 l total length points from all these values you put and calculate you will end up with the answer of deflection so it comes around 0 0.1 millimeter or 0 0.1 into 10 power minus 3 meter is the answer for this calculation you try it with the calculator you have to try okay so now we can find out the natural frequency very simply. So static deflection is 0.1 in 10 power minus 3. Uh, the same formula 0.4985 divided by del. Just substitute this 0.1 in 10 power minus 3. It's 49.85 hertz. Therefore, natural frequency of transverse vibration is 49.85 hertz. 
here in this problem we have asked only transfer vibration longitudinal is not asked okay so that completes the problem it's taken from 20